Well, there's Montales. This is how you prepare for a playoff game. Wow. Got to make sure that shot is in the arsenal <laughs> coming in. Of course, Dirk Nowitzki might have that. Tim Duncan. Timmy Sandy's the hugs from my loved ones. That's right. Easter Sunday. Tony Parker. Ready to go. Just another playoff spring in San Antonio. Their 17th straight year, and this is what I was talking about. Tony Parker to the paint. Lots of uh, good wishes for our pal Craig Sager, who's undergoing leukemia treatment right now. More on that in a little bit. Parker, seven points right off the bat for the Spurs. Scored their first seven. Unbelievable, Matt. Early in this game that Tony really put his imprint on this game. Tim Duncan, they go on a 12-4 run. And I just want to say to Craig Sager, you're the best. We miss you. Fight your ass off, man. Thank you. Well, that uh, sentiment is echoed around the NBA. Devin Harris for Dallas, and he played good minutes for Rick Carlisle. 12-0 run by the Mavericks. And, and you know the Mavericks, uh, they controlled the tempo early in the game, and they did a good job from the three-point line, spreading people out and knocking down their three-point shots. Parker on Harris, and another layup. They couldn't keep him out of there. No, he lived there all game long, Matt. When things went wrong, and now he said, Pop, I got this. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to use the pick. I'm going to get to the paint. He just should circle the lane and say, I'm going to score in here repeatedly. They can't stop me from getting it to this area, Coach. Uh, speaking of which, Monte Ellis all the way to the cup. He had nine at the half. Shot clock winding down. Here's Parker. Oh, look where he is. Well, and, and Parker, every time they switch the big man out on him, whether it be Nagwinski, I mean, Dirk or um, Sean Marion, he made him pay. He got to the basket, and he stayed into the paint the whole game. Nowitzki from the post, one leg fadeaway. You've seen that a million times. Dallas up on top, 42 to 40. Half running out. It's Harris. Uh, that was kind of a Euro step. Yeah, a little it's bit. A little yeah. awkward Euro little step, awkward. but it worked. It very effective. He hit 13 at the half. Oh, Spurs. Oh, look at that. It's kind of a Mount Rushmore of Spurs <laughs> players on a guy's head. He must stay in the barber chair all day for that. One. I guess. Yeah. Monte, what do you pay for that? By the way? I don't know. That's got to be extra. Yes, right? it is. <laughs> Monte Ellis to Sean Marion there on the other end. Tim Duncan, everything going his way. And, and Duncan had a, a great game today. He stayed in the paint. He constant put pressure on the defense. Oh. Had great screens. And, you know, he gets a little bump here. The old man gets up, shakes it off. But he found a way to stay in the game and contribute. Paid the price there a little bit with Monte Ellis' knee hitting the side of his. And as you'll hear in a minute, no big deal. Just kind of tweaked in the knee a little bit. Nothing to worry about. Harris spinning and hitting. It's a big-time move for Harris. And Dallas goes up by four. Ginobili, no. Tiago splitter there with the rebound of the layup, and we are tied at 65 through three. Here's Craig Sager Jr. with Craig Great Parker. job, great question from Craig yeah. Jr. Well, I, I talked to my dad to see if he had a question. He said, son, you're on your own. Is there anything you'd like right. to say? Well, I got to tell you, uh, you did a great job, but I'd rather have your dad standing here. That's what's great. We miss you. You've been an important part of all this for a long time, doing a great job. We want your fanny back on the court, and I promise I'll be nice. Get back here. Good luck. Bravo. Good job. Bravo, Good job. Greg Popovich. It's the side of him uh, we hear about from guys yes. who played for him all the time. Yes. We don't get to see much on TV. Dirk Nowitzki, the fadeaway, then Devin to Dirk for the layup. Dallas on top, 73-67. Vince Carter drives. He's kicking. Jay Crowder's knocking down a bucket. Unexpected offense gives the Mavericks a seven-point lead. Then Harris to Brandon Wright. Dallas is up by 10, and it's getting late-ish well, in San Antonio. We, we talked about earlier, Matt, good ball mover and player movement. You can get at the Spurs, but then you call timeout, and then the execution kicks in. But yeah. then a 15-0 run by San Antonio. It's Duncan. And it's Duncan and it's execution Parker to Tiago Splitter here. And, and those are those are the big baskets that you want your superstars to make. Duncan makes two plays, then Parker comes back on a nice give and go uh, with, with Splitter. So they they did all they made all the big baskets that they needed to make to calm the run down. And the Mavericks could not buy one. They went almost the entire final 745 Ooh, yes. without a bucket as Parker spins for another bucket. Parker drives, pulls up for a jumper, and San Antonio puts it away with a 19-4 run. A late Dallas basket is all that stood between them and a uh, final 7.45 without a single basket. Spurs take game one, 90-85.
Entering Wednesday night, the Spurs with a one to nothing lead in this first round playoff series with the Mavericks. And it's time for game two. But first, Spurs coach Greg Popovich presented with the Red Auerbach Trophy for the NBA's Coach of the Year. He's now a three-time winner of the trophy. But turnovers plagued the Spurs, especially in the first half. That's Danny Green turning it over. Mavs in transition. Monte Ellis to Sean Marion for the one-handed slam. And Tony Parker turning the ball over. Mavs the other way. Jose Calderon this time. He'll find Sean Marion in the corner to finish the three. And Tim Duncan with a turnover of his own. Monte Ellis finding Sean Marion again. The Spurs had 15 turnovers in the first half. That's the most of any Spurs first half all season long. And the coach of the year is not happy. But after trailing by as many as 15, San Antonio went on a run. That's Tim Duncan with two for the Spurs to put him down by just 10. And Manu Ginobili launching to three. And he's fouled on the play. Dirk Nowitzki not happy about that call either. And after arguing back with the ref, he's called for a technical foul on the play. Manu went to the line and made all three free throws, but he did miss the technical foul shot. And Coach Carlisle not happy about that call either. Final seconds of the first half off the Patty Mills layup. Manu Ginobili with the reverse putback to finish the play. The Spurs in the first half on a 10 to nothing run. He had 17 of his 27 points in the first half as well. And coming out of the locker room, Dallas outscored San Antonio 57 to 41 after the half. It's Monte Ellis with a team high 21 points and Jose Calderon hitting the pull up jumper plus the foul. Calderon had 11 points in the third quarter alone. And Dewan Blair stealing the ball from Manu Ginobili. Blair takes it to the other way and he'll finish the layup. The Mavs had 33 points off 24 Spurs turnovers. That's the most turnovers by the Spurs all season long. And later in the fourth, Dirk Nowitzki with the ball, he'll turn and shoot the jumper, gets it to go, plus the foul, 16 total points for Nowitzki. And that'll do it for Dallas, 113 to 92. And with the Mavs win, this series is now tied one to one. Game three is Saturday in Dallas. Yates seeded Dallas Mavericks managed a split of their first two games against the top seeded San Antonio Spurs. San Antonio now heads to Dallas. Obviously, Coach Greg Popovich needing some W's. We start you off in the first. Kawhi Leonard gets the steal and goes the other way for the and one layup. He was seven of eight from the field. San Antonio after the made free throw goes up by five, 30 to 25. Later, Tony Parker drives and misses the floater, but Tiago splitter there for the tip, and he had 14 points and 13 rebounds. That's a double-double. And then it's Parker shooting and making this time. 17.6 assists at the half for Tony Parker, but Greg Popovich wanted more. How you playing? How you playing? A little bit of ugly, okay? A little bit of contact, a little bit of ferociousness. It's the freaking playoffs. That's right, it's the playoffs. Stay tuned, more playoff action. Dirk Nowitzki knocking down the baseline. Jay nicely done, he had 18 points on the game. Then Monte Ellis gets it going. Watch Ellis find the space and then just fling it up to the roof and get that one to go in hoop and harm. And Vince Carter fired up on this shot. You can see why, wonderfully done from Monte Ellis and Sean Marion. Kicking it out to, yeah, you guessed it, Monte Ellis. The Mavericks ended the quarter on a 19-7 run. Ellis 13 at the half. Dallas up 53-49 to at that point. But Tim Duncan, the beneficiary of a nice Tony Parker pass, slams that one home. He had a dozen at the half. Dallas up 59-54 at the break. Third quarter now. Danny Green misses the three. Dirk grabs the loose ball ahead to Jose Calderon who lays that one in, 16 points on the game for Calderon. Still third quarter, Sammy Dallenbear blocks Boris Diaw. Mavericks going the other way, and nobody's gonna catch this man. Monte Ellis soared in for the layup. He had a game high, 29. Tiago Splitter out to Manu Ginobili. Manu Ginobili, that's an easy elbow J right there for Manu, who had a dozen on the game. San Antonio up by 172 to 71. Devin Harris throwing a lob, and Brandon Wright flies high for Dallas and brings that one down. Dallas in front by one. 
to the fourth quarter now. Less than four to go. Kawhi Leonard outside for three. He finished the game with 17 points. San Antonio up by three. Then it's Ellis hitting the tough baseline shot plus the foul. And so after the made free throw, we're tied at 102. Watch it one more time. Not a lot of contact there on the part of Boris Diaw, but the foul was called. The free throw was made. The game was tied. Ginobili, this time to Diaw, who exacts a measure of revenge by knocking down that jumper. San Antonio up by two. Under 30 seconds left. Mavericks down by two. Monte Ellis driving to the basket. Almost a running hook shot there over Tim Duncan. Goes down, ties it at 106. Then it's Ginobili. Winding the shot clock and the game clock down, goes to the basket, hits the shot, it rolls around and in with just 1.7 seconds left in the game. Would that be enough time after this ball weaved itself around the rim and finally in Dallas? One last shot and what would they do on that one last shot? They go to the veteran. Vince Carter fading from three and winning the game for the Dallas Mavericks. Vince Carter, an absolute legend, a hero. Mark Cuban loves it. The Dallas Mavericks love it. Watch him one more time on the line, just beyond the three-point line, just before the sideline, and Vince Carter perfectly done for Dallas, and that delivers a victory. Dallas goes up two games to one in the series on Vince Carter's heroics. They win the game by a single, 109 to 108. In Dallas Monday night with the Mavs up two games to one, the top seeded Spurs facing a must win game four and the veteran Vince Carter knocking it down early. A three from the wing early in the first quarter. He was two for six from behind the arc with eight total points in the game. And in the second, Manu Ginobili with the ball at the top of the key. He'll drive left, take it into the paint and finish to tie the score at 25. And Patty Mills stealing the ball headed the other way. Spurs on the break, he'll find Kawhi Leonard for the one-handed jam. That caps off a 12 to nothing Spurs run. And Manu finding Tim Duncan for the slam underneath. At the half, the Spurs are up by 14. And later in the third, Tony Parker driving to the hole for the layup. That capped a 20-point lead, but it wouldn't stay that way for the Spurs. Parker turning the ball over. Mavs on the break. And Monte Ellis going to finish this one all by himself. Spurs still leading by 12. And Vince Carter finding Jose Calderon for the three from the wing. 13 total points for Calderon, and the crowd is loving it. Heading into the fourth, Devin Harris driving and kicking it to Dewan Blair for the floater. He had 12 points on five for five from the field. And Carter finding Dirk Nowitzki for the jumper. Dirk had 19 points on 7 for 19 shooting, plus 7 rebounds in the game. And off the Tim Duncan miss, Devin Harris rebounding the Mavs on the run. He'll find Jay Crowder for the layup. That was part of an 18-6 Mavericks run. And Dewan Blair poking the ball off Ginobili's leg to force the turnover. And hey, at least it didn't come at the hands of Tony Romo, right Dallas? With under 5 minutes left in the quarter, Dewan Blair taking the Sean Marion feed and he'll finish the layup. He had 12 total points in the game. And with the Mavs down one, after Manu's two free throws, Monte Ellis driving in for the layup to give Dallas the lead, 83 to 82. And with the Spurs in transition, Manu losing the ball, Sean Marion going for the save, but on that play, Tiago Splitter and Dewan Blair collide. It looked like Blair kicked Splitter. Blair would eventually be ejected from the game. Dallas still up by one. And with less than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Tony Parker looking to move the ball, but eh, he'll go ahead and pull it himself. Parker had 10 total points in the game, putting San Antonio up 87 to 84. And with less than a minute to go, Monte Ellis driving to the basket, the layup plus one, he made the free throw and had 20 total points on six for 20 from the field. 
And with less than 40 seconds to go, Tony Parker finding Boris Diaw, who hits the three from the top of the key. He was three of six from downtown with 17 total points in the game. And with less than 20 seconds to go, Devin Harris fouling Manu Ginobili. Manu at the line shooting two, misses the first, but goes on to make the second. Spurs up 91 to 89, and it's the Mavs ball with 10.4 seconds remaining. Monte Ellis missing the layup on the left-hand side. Spurs get the rebound, and Manu Ginobili would be fouled again. He led the Spurs with 23 points, including eight for 11 from the free throw line. And the Spurs win it, 93 to 89. The series now tied two to two in game five is Wednesday in San Antonio. A late deep shot in Dallas from Boris Diaw helped the San Antonio Spurs even the series at two apiece between them and Dirk Nowitzki's Dallas Mavericks. Dirk held under 20 for four straight games. There's Tony Parker, the new papa, getting warmed up for the game. He had a mild left ankle sprain. How did he look? Well, he looked pretty good early on. Driving to the basket, getting a little layup to go down. Nine of 23 from the field. Then Parker drives and spins as he is prone to do. 10 points in the first quarter. San Antonio already up 21 to eight. Still first quarter. Brandon Wright to Vince Carter fading and hitting off glass somehow. 10 of 16 from the field. That cuts the San Antonio lead down to seven. Devin Harris, a little step back. That's smoothly done. Dallas ends the first quarter on a 13 to three run. It's 27, 26 at that point to the second quarter. VC feeling it from three, knocking this one down. Carter had 14 points, three of four from distance at the half. That tied it at 42 later. Devin Harris drives, turns it over. Manu Ginobili picks it up. We go the other way. It ends in Kawhi Leonard's hand. Jam and foul. 11 points, five rebounds at the break for Leonard. San Antonio up by five. Tim Duncan working in the post. Gets a little turnaround jumper here. This is nicely done from Duncan. Seven points, nine rebounds at the half. 53-46 at that point. San Antonio in front. Boris Diaw to Leonard, who nails a three. The Spurs in the half on a 9-3 run. They go up 58-49. to Third quarter now, Kawhi Leonard stops, spins. Nobody's there, just gets that one off the glass. He had 15 points and eight rebounds in the game. But a young looking Vince Carter had a response. Tony Parker too small to guard him, fading off of one foot. Did he learn that one from Dirk in practice? A game high 28 for Vince Carter. San Antonio though still in front 73-66. Monte Ellis with the dunk off the turnover. He had 21.6 assists in the game. That cuts the lead down to five. Manu Ginobili to Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan slamming it in. He had now 151 career playoff double-doubles. 16 points, 12 rebounds in the game. Later third quarter. Mavericks and Dirk Nowitzki getting tangled up right there with Manu Ginobili and tangled up's the least you could say about that foul on Dirk Nowitzki. And we head to the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, off a pick and roll, Patty Mills to Tiago Splitter for the layup and the foul. 17 points, 12 rebounds. That's a double-double for Splitter. Brandon Wright to Dirk Nowitzki. 26 points, 15 rebounds. So he did pass the 20-point threshold in this game. San Antonio up 89-81. Tony Parker on the miss, Tiago Splitter, another rebound and a putback. San Antonio's lead is at 10, but Dirk Nowitzki not going quietly into the night. Baseline jumper goes down, 93-85 your count. Patty Mills, nice reverse layup, hanging and hitting there with the English. His only field goal of the game, but San Antonio's up by 10. Then Tony Parker cuts to the basket beautifully and gets the layup, the lead at nine at that point. Vince Carter, corner three. Vince Carter just getting it done. This part of a 10-5 run for the Mavericks. So with three minutes to go, they're back in this ball game. It's 98-94. Tony Parker, though, has an answer. A pull-up three. That's not his specialty, but he gets it to go there. And San Antonio up 101-94. They go on to win it by six and take a three games to two lead in the series. Your final score, 109 to 103. The Dallas Mavericks are 0-7 all-time when trailing three games to two in a seven-game series. That is the circumstance they find themselves in as they 
Get set to take on the San Antonio Spurs, who lead, obviously, 3-2. to two. We start you off early on with San Antonio turning it over. The other end, it's Dirk Nowitzki laying it in. Then Jose Calderon, just no contest there, just drives right baseline and lays it in. And Greg Popovich furious with his defense at that point. Dallas up 25-21. Then later, Dirk Nowitzki goes, working inside, turns, spins. Now that's a contested jump shot, but it's good, and Greg Popovich still not pleased. What are your frustrations with your defense? Uh, 34 points. The 34 points San Antonio gave up in the first quarter was the most in any quarter this entire series. The rest was better, though. Tim Duncan gets the lane. He was 7 of 9 from the field there off glass. 16 points, 9 rebounds in the game. Later third quarter, Spurs outscore the Mavericks 29-18 in the third quarter. This time it's Tiago Splitter getting the lay-in. 19 points in the game. To the fourth quarter we go. Tony Parker heating up, knocking down a three-pointer, deep three-pointer there. Parker, seven straight points for San Antonio. They're up 90-86, to looking to close it out in Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki, though, with an answer in the paint, off one leg. That goes down. This part of a 14-2 run for the Mavericks. Ellis pulling up wide open on that three-pointer. That's just too easy. Nailed that shot. And then Dewan Blair, remember, suspended in game five. This is game six, and he is back with a vengeance. 10 points, 14 rebounds. Later still, Monte Ellis attacking and scoring in transition goes into a group of San Antonio defenders, lays it in plus the foul. Then Ellis again, watch him just curl around the edge of that defense and toss up the floater. 12 of his 29 came in the fourth. Dallas up by eight at that point, but Tony Parker with a response gets a layup there. 13 of his 22 came in the fourth quarter. Dallas up 106 to 105, so the lead down to one. Then Parker, beautiful spin up and under, lays it in, and Dallas. Their lead looks shaky. Tony Parker, just a terrific move there. After a pair of Vince Carter free throws, Tony Parker looking to pass. This time it's stolen by Dewan Blair. Dallas up by three, 28.3 to go. Now just over 10 seconds, Spurs down by five. Patty Mills working on a drive down court. Watch this, Mills just pulls up and buries a three pointer. That cuts the lead down to two with seven seconds to go. Ensuing inbounds. Watch the Dallas Mavericks pass it back to Montales. This is good Montales right here. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Waste time, waste time. This is suddenly bad Montales. Just throws it out of bounds on the other end of the court with 1.3 seconds remaining in the game. So the Spurs suddenly have a chance. They inbounds down the court and Dallas knocks it out. On that inbounds, the San Antonio Spurs had six players on the court, it was not called. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, the San Antonio Spurs with life. How would they get it done? Could they get it done? They get a look, but it was after the clock expired. And Dallas survives a few late blunders and gets the W. This one's going seven. The Mavericks win it by two, 113 to 111. This opening around playoff series. A sellout crowd, and only fitting that the final game of the first round of these 2014 playoffs comes down to another game seven for Tim Duncan and the Spurs. An incredible amount of turnovers as Parker gets inside and banks it off the glass. He's had some good overall just activity, blocking shots, rebounding. Duncan off the dribble. Five to shoot. Parker's jump shot. Nine point lead, timeout Dallas. He's now 14 of 26. And Mike, he's so strong that they can play him on a big like splitter. And if they try to post him, he's got the lower body strength to hold his own. As the Spurs did not resign him after last year. Parker again in the paint. Their bench has been at times exceptional. Parker with the left hand. That little hesitation and burst of speed. And talking to Dewan Blair about it too. And a technical foul. 
again. I think it's on. Blair with a technical foul. No, no, no. I think it, I thought it was on Parker. No, Parker trash talked him after Blair tried to strip him like he did last game. He went for the strip. He got that was their only chance yep. to beat a superior Indiana team is to spread him out with the threat of the three. Oh, there he goes again. And look who's in the game with the ball. It's Shane Larkin, the rookie from Miami. But they turn it over. Larkin's only played two minutes so far in this series. Parker hops that layup again. Nowitzki against Splitter. Splitter knocks it away from behind. Two on one. Parker to Leonard for the flush. As dominant a first half as you can have, San Antonio still shooting an incredible 70 for a chance at a miracle. Well, Dallas filled with veterans that have played a lot of big games. Parker again, and a foul. What a brilliant first half for Tony Parker. He's got 22 points on 8 of 10 from the field. The majority of them layups. Drives on Ellis, Ellis with the three fouls, can't do anything. Boy, Duncan and Ginobili following suit of Parker. Who's with Doris? Tony, in a series that had been so hyper-competitive throughout, what allowed your team to dominate the way you did? Uh, we're making shots right now, but uh, we need to keep making stops. We know they're going to make a run, and the uh, third quarter is going to be big. You had been productive, but this was as efficiently as you have played in this series. Why? I don't know. Just trying to be aggressive. Uh, shots going in so far, so hopefully you can stay like that for the whole game. Tony, thanks. Right, thank you. Mike. Novitsky's jump shot. Parker pushes. Poor transition defense. Parker gets the layup to go. Rick Collar wanted to travel. It was close. And Parker now with 26 points. But Dallas didn't. He, it Popovich and Rick Carlisle both talking about it with, with such admiration and respect earlier. As Tony Parker knocks down the jump shot. Mavs not the penalty, their third team foul. We still have 10 minutes to go in what is now a 25 point game. So a long time to go as Danny Green knocks down a three pointer. Make that six, I'm corrected. And that is a playoff high for Ginobili. Diaz! special teaching and communication ability particularly with your best player as they were trailing in the fourth quarter of game four but the spurs rebounded and put in their best performance of the series saved it for the best time game seven a dominant victory for san antonio as greg popovich and rick carlisle so much respect after a hard-fought series Obviously, such a nice exchange between the teams. Can you describe the respect level here? Oh, we have a lot of respect for Dallas. They're, they're a great team. They made it very hard on us. And uh, it was tough. Uh, game seven, we, we shot the ball well. But the, the whole series, it was a, a hard fight. And uh, luckily, we got in top. How can the way you won game seven carry over in such a short turnaround and facing Portland? Well, I think our ball movement was good today. I think we were getting back to, to playing Spurs basketball, and we're going to need it against Portland. They're a very good team. Uh, they're very good defensively, so we're going to need everybody to play well. We're looking forward to it, Tony. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mike. All right, Doris, we can only hope the second round is as good as the first round as Tony Parker and the Spurs advance. It took them seven games.